Hey guys, this video is a showcase of the mod called Dungeon Master, which was part of the 2023 mod gem and adds a new type of beggar to the start of each of your runs. Did you know that the first four characters of the game, Isaac, Maggie, Cain and Judas are a reference to the four original Dungeons and Dragons classes? That's why interacting with the Dungeon Master as one of these four characters will transform them into their Dungeons and Dragons counterparts, the fighter, cleric, rogue or wizard. If you want to play as the Dungeons and Dragons version of your character, make sure to touch the Dungeon Master directly at the start of your run, because leaving your room will cause it to despawn. Interacting with the Dungeon Master as any character that isn't one of the original four will make it drop four random cards instead. It is up to you if you want to use them or ignore them for balance reasons. Anyway, let's talk about the four classes. Touching the Dungeon Master as Isaac will turn him into the Fighter, which replaces his tears with a sword and bow attack. The sword swings come out at the same rate as Isaac's tears would usually fire. The attacks have a fixed range and will deal 50% of Isaac's damage stat with each hit. The arrow attack on the other hand will be shot way less frequent, at a rate of just one third of your tier rate. The arrows are piercing enemies and deal twice your damage. The two attacks will both be fired simultaneously, as long as you hold down a fire button. This means that one arrow will be fired every three sword swings while doing so. However, this doesn't mean that you have to swing your sword three times to shoot an arrow. Taking breaks between your shots will still refresh the timer of your arrow shot. The fighter is pretty basic all things considered, but you can mix up your gameplay quite a bit by switching between a melee and range combat style at any time. I should probably make this clear early on. All the classes in the mod are completely overwritten by any item that replaces your tears, like Brimstone or Mom's Knife would do. But the attacks of the classes do synergize with items that affect your tears without actually replacing them. I will show you at least one fun synergy per class if there is one. In the case of the fighter, both the sword swing and the arrow shot are affected by stat boosts as well as more complex effects like for example shot multipliers. Next up is Maggie, who will turn into the cleric after touching the dungeon master. She will now fire a slowly moving ball of light with a low fire rate but high damage. To be precise, Maggie will actually get her tier rate reduced to 35% of her usual base value. However, each of the balls of light hits with a times 3 damage multiplier. This basically means her overall DPS will be at least even, if not higher, if you hit the slow wiggling shots. But you probably already saw that there is more to it here. The cleric also comes with two spells and a mana bar that will automatically refill itself over time. You can switch between the two spells with the 1 and 2 buttons on your keyboard. Each spell has a fixed mana cost and cooldown timer which are visible in your spell window. Make sure to always use your spells as often as possible for easier fights. The first spell is called Destroy Undead. It will fire a piercing ball of light that deals 50 damage to each enemy it hits regardless of your own damage stat. The second spell on the other hand is of defensive nature. It is called Ward and allows Maggie to push away all enemies and projectiles for the next 8 seconds. All in all a very cool concept that totally changes Maggie's gameplay if you feel like it. It just needs some time to get used to the slow and wiggly light orbs. And just like with the fighter, the cleric's shots also synergize with most items in the game as long as the effect wouldn't replace your tears in a regular run. We are now halfway done with the showcase. And while the light show right here is still going, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps a lot and is much appreciated. Two done, two more to go. Next up is Kane's Dungeons and Dragons counterpart, the Thief or Rogue. His tears will be replaced with a very quick double dagger melee attack. His tier rate will actually be buffed by roughly 40% as soon as he touches the dungeon master. However, his quick dagger attacks also deal only 40% of your damage stat per hit. But that was not all about the class. It also comes with its unique pocket active item called Slice, that allows you to throw two of your knives forward like boomerangs. 
The throne nice deal two times your damage stat on hit, but they sadly can't hit the same enemy again on the way back. So hitting a target with both of your daggers deals a total of four times your damage. However, the problem is that his overall damage output is really low. The 40% fire rate buff doesn't outweigh the 60% damage decrease, even with the added slice item. The Thief is also the only class in the mod that doesn't have a constant range attack that works like a tier. This sadly means that most synergy items are useless for it. I really like the concept of the class system, but I feel like the Thief probably needs some love if the mod ever gets a new patch in the future. Would you agree? Either way, we are not done yet, because the most interesting character is left. Touching the Dungeon Master as Julius will allow you to play the Wizard. The Wizard will shoot slowly moving pulsating orbs that are fired at Judas' regular fire rate, but while only dealing 65% of his damage stat with each hit. But to compensate for this reduced damage, his orbs will gain additional effects based on the last spell you have casted out of his huge repertoire of 4 different ones. His first spell, Firebolt, shoots a giant fireball that will deal 40 damage to the first enemy in its path and apply burn to it as well as other nearby foes on top. The second spell, Icicle Fan, will spray out ice projectiles in a white cone in front of you. Each icicle deals 1.5 or 3 damage depending on its size and will slow enemies on hit. The third spell, Poison Spray, will release a huge gas cloud around the wizard. It will apply a poison to foes that deals 2.5 damage per tick, regardless of your stats. The last spell is called Mage Hand and can also be used for utility. It will fire a magical hand that will grab pickups in its path and bring them back to you. The spell can also be used in combat but is probably not worth its big mana cost in this case. The hand will deal 20 damage to all enemies in a radius around its impact. I already mentioned it earlier, but the spell you've casted last will actually affect your base attack orbs by granting them additional status effects. Casting Firebolt will apply burn to your shots, Icicle Fan will cause them to slow your foes, Poison Spray will grant poison to them, and Mage Hand will make them confuse your enemies. This in my opinion really cool ability, on top of his big selection of spells, easily makes the wizard the most interesting class in the mod. Do you agree, or do you think he got too much going on for himself? Also, one item that I thought is really cool combined with the wizard is the glass cannon. It totally fits the narrative of the class and allows you to shoot a giant pulse orb. Anyway, that was it for my showcase of the Dungeon Master mod. Which of the four classes was your favorite? And which other D&D classes would you like to see in Isaac as well? Either way, I hope you enjoyed today's showcase and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye! He's the number one Isaac! God's favorite son His flow